because I think it was the first attempt to make a conceptual shift in poverty programs between being programs that just transfer income to households by subsidizing electricity or distributing food or having tax exemptions on certain goods into an approach focused on investing in the human capital of the households. By this, I mean that households would get an income transfer, but it would be conditional upon some socially desirable behavior. Uh, things like having the children of the poor household go to school or having all members of the household go to a health clinic. Uh, basically, you're making a conceptual shift from I just want to transfer income so that households have higher consumption to I want to transfer income as a mechanism for households to invest in their own human capital. You, you really have to think about the conditions of each individual country. But a first objective is to raise people's consumption levels. I mean, by now, there is really no reason, at least I'm speaking about for Latin America, why households should be hungry, should be malnourished, or should have no access to basic health. Uh, we've learned enough over the last 20 years to ensure that through conditional cash transfer programs or similar mechanisms, all households have access to some basic consumption and to some basic health and some basic satisfactions. The next challenge is to actually make sure that households get better jobs and have higher incomes. But that second challenge had to take precedent, had to be before you solve the first problem and then ask the questions about making people's income go higher. I think at the conceptual level, the notion that you really don't want to transfer income to household on its own, you really want to transfer income to households and at the same time achieve something such that eventually such income transfers will be unnecessary. If you think about a poverty program as a permanent program, you're probably not focusing on the right objectives. You think that you want to do something to help households today, because certainly they do need help, but you also want to do something at the same time that allows households to help themselves in the future. And so this notion of investing in human capital and creating conditions for breaking the intergenerational transmission of poverty I think is a concept that can be, so to speak, exported from Latin America to other regions of the world. Once households have some minimum consumption levels and some basic access to health and education, the really deep question is what needs to happen for households to have higher incomes? And I think that question is intimately associated with what needs to happen for households to have more productive jobs. In the Latin American context, this question is intimately associated with whether workers work in the formal sector or work in the informal sector, because a lot of evidence says that, on average, jobs in the formal sector are substantially more productive than jobs in the informal sector. So the next set of questions have to do with what creates this divide between the formal and the informal sector, and what policies can be put in place to facilitate workers getting jobs in the formal sector with more productivity, so that they can earn a much larger share of their income through their own efforts, with transfers taking little by little less importance. I think it's a mechanism in which different regions of the world can learn from each other. There are many forums in which I assume African economists talk to themselves and Asian economists talk to themselves, and certainly there are forums in which Latin American economists talk to themselves. There's a lot of learning that can be done across various regions of the world. Wider is, I think, almost unique in the sense of bringing together literally a wider perspective to development and being able to learn from other regions of the world, both the good and the bad. Aside from being able to network and make friends, you also learn ideas and you also might share some of your own ideas. Mm -hmm.